Can having children negatively impact your spiritual development? Or can you maintain a fully functioning spiritual practice while helping to raise children? Whether you have children or not, if you have pondered this important topic, then join me in this video as we explore this common part of reality. Hi, my name is Elora, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then a big warm welcome to you. If you find value in these videos, then make sure to subscribe so that you can receive the weekly videos I post designed to support your spiritual development through guided meditations, practical tips, and train with me videos, all in alignment with the Teixeira lineage. And to those that have already subscribed to this channel, Thank you so much for your support and please feel free to let me know in the comments below if there is a topic you would like me to cover. I will do my best to support you if it is a topic that aligns with this channel. I wanted to do a video on having children in relation to being a spiritual practitioner because not only is it a topic that I have reflected much upon in my life, but it is also an important topic that I believe is not discussed enough and it is worth discussing as having children is a life-changing decision and being a spiritual practitioner is also a life-changing decision. If you are taking the time to watch this video, then most likely it is either because you have a family already and are reflecting here with me, you want to have children and are wondering what will happen to your practice if you do. You are with someone that wants you to have children with them and you are not sure whether it is something you want to or as much as they do. You know you do not want children but are just interested in how I will talk about this sometimes sensitive topic. Either way, it is very important because raising children is such a big responsibility. Did I say big? I actually meant gigantium. I have one child and while in this video I'm not going to get too much into my own story, I will say that so far in my life creating another human being, someone that is 100% dependent on me and my partner has been the biggest responsibility I have ever taken on. It may not be the hardest job in the world, but it is my largest responsibility and will be for a very long period of time. And time really is what it all comes down to. Time to work so that you can protect your family. Time to raise your children and all that that requires of you. And then as a spiritual practitioner, as this is the focus of this video, it also, come, it also comes down to how much time you need in order to have what feels like a fully functioning, alive spiritual practice while making sure that you have enough time for everything else. The truth is there is no one size fits all when it comes to spiritual development. It is a very, very personal journey. And so I, or anyone else for that matter, cannot tell anyone else really what to do on this subject. In order to feel like you are practicing your path enough, you may need one hour or half an hour or even 15 minutes a day of meditation or whatever it is that your path is. And that is enough for you. Or you may be a practitioner who feels the calling to spend hours a day exploring the depths of their chosen path. Each of us is so unique and society tries to make us one size fits all, but this is not how we as humans really are. There are also many, many other factors that are a good idea to consider if your spiritual development is a priority for you. Here are some examples. Maybe you earn enough money or are with someone where together you earn enough money that frees up your time enough that you can maintain a reasonable and steady level of practice that works for you both while raising a family. Or maybe you are with someone that will expect that once you have a baby that you will completely stop or at least reduce your practice time and that may not work for you. You may be able to accept that at the beginning when the baby arrives that you simply won't have much time to practice but in time you will get more time and that that is okay with you and that you have a plan in order to make that happen. You may feel that the amount of time you need in order to achieve and progress along your path of ascension has to be your number one priority and that is that. You may feel that having children is a natural extension of your spiritual development and that having children will deepen your path and your practice. 
as you can see, there are so many different kinds of practitioners, so many different situations with spouses, and so many different lifestyle situations. It really depends on what it is that you want and what you're capable of doing. One thing that saddens me is when a parent leaves their family, their young children, in order to pursue their own spiritual development. Not that long ago on a public forum, I recently read someone's post of a question. It was something along the lines of, is it okay to leave my family to follow, to follow my spiritual karma? This is not so uncommon, unfortunately, and so very sad to me. Perhaps Buddha would have been seen as a delinquent father if he hadn't have come back with such a gift of the Dharma. For some of us, the call to have children is so strong. In some of us, the call to develop spiritually is so strong. And in some of us, it is both. So to conclude this video, I will share with you what it is that I have observed and what it is that I believe. I believe that spiritual life and family life can go hand in hand but it requires daily commitment and contribution to a shared vision, which requires endurance, discipline, organization, time, and personal sacrifice. In fact, I will be posting a video on spiritual practitioners who have a family very soon. So stay tuned for that video if this topic of families piques your interest. I observe overall that children require so many resources to grow and thrive and that there is only so much time we have in one day. I observe that it takes time to develop internal skills and abilities and naturalize them so that you don't need to be in formal closed door training and that that comes from your own training and practices, but it takes time to develop. I observe that children, in order to thrive in this world, need to have someone help them to build their spiritual foundations. And when that guidance comes from a parent or parent's own spiritual path, then it can be deeply beneficial to that child or children and to the entire family. I also believe that the mentality to breed is strong in us humans and that choosing that path presents you with some very strong attachments. Part of these attachments is the magnetic pull of a society that overall values distraction, entertainment, overeating, laziness, addiction, etc. And a certain kind of lifestyle that can drain your energy and your spiritual vision. If you do not have the structural integrity, the resources both internally and externally to prevent this from draining you or at least minimizing its impact on you and your choices. So what have you been reflecting on when it comes to this topic of your own spiritual development and having a family? I would love to know your thoughts, so please share them below. As always, if you found value in this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos, and remember to like and share this video so that the value you absorb here can be absorbed more easily by others. Bye-bye for now.